how are you and welcome to your july 2021 reading so aries you know we are now in the cancer season and a lot of the energies is going to be in your home sector so this is where you know the sun is shining down on you know how you are when it comes to like home security and your family the month of July is, you know, it can feel quite topsy-turvy at times. But, you know, as long as you connect to the home and your family, you know, connecting to your roots, all should be fine. With the with the month of July, I feel, you know, especially like for the first week, you know, there can be like a big cause for you to feel very happy because, you know, we have like the Three of Cups. And this is to do with like a celebration. This could be with, you know, three family members. It could be with your family or it could be with your work colleagues. So I do feel with you, Aries, this is a great time. This, this, there's a big energy that, you know, you've worked really hard in, you know, either discovering yourself or it could be to do with like, you know, your work it could be also a promotion or it could just be good news or you know this could be concerning like your energy and vitality but you know you want to be around people that are going to be close to you to celebrate so you know the month it starts off really you know the energy is very heightened you know your spirit you know your your goals are already met as well you know so it starts really great for you and you know you have a message from the angel earth angel and the earth angel is telling you that, you know, you are a light worker. Whatever you have envisioned, whatever you have always like manifested or worked really hard towards, all is now being shown, all is actually now being revealed. We have a lovely, during this month, we have a lovely, well, I'm going to be doing a full video on this. We have the new moon which is going to be in your fourth house. This is about you setting intentions when it comes to, you know, things, you know, to do with like your home, coming home. It's also to do self-care because I feel that this month is definitely to do with you taking care of yourself. And sometimes, Aries, you know, you can feel that you, you know, you're taking care of business, taking care of yourself, but something is left behind. So this is time to be you know grounded taking stock and you know we have the you know and it, talking about taking stock you know you have the six of wands and it's actually a mars in leo card so a lot of you leos i mean a lot of you aries sorry could actually be you know be seeing be going out with or be married to a Leo person with who's had Mars in Aries, you yourself could be, or you could actually be feeling like this Mars in Leo, like with energy and the vitality and the creativity. And this card is talking about, you know, the card message, especially like if this is like for the second week, you know, you could definitely be looking back on what you've actually achieved you know there could be some regrets going on along the way because you know when we're when when you're in your like an emotional house it can lead to nostalgic thinking so I believe that the, you know I feel like the second week you could be looking back on what happened throughout the past months you know because when this was like we're like quarter you know what quarter but you know we are six six five months away until christmas so you could be looking back on what happened from january till now and see how far you've come and also being proud you know there may have been lots of ups and downs you know i feel that this month is very much for you about looking back it could be looking back on your family it could be your past but also i do feel that it's looking back on your achievements and how far you've come so, you know, you've, you know, this card is showing that, you know, you've had a lots of challenges along the way, but still you've come through it, you know, you're stronger through it. And there may have been a lot of tears, you yourself could even be shedding some tears as well about, you know, you know, the past, 
how hard you've worked you know you this is a time that this second week you can feel that you can actually relax now but still it is sort of going back on what happened and you know even like your thoughts could even travel all the way back further back more than you actually imagine so you know the second week is actually showing that okay I can breathe I can you know I've got this but let me still like sort of like it, it can feel like analyzation but also it mostly feels like okay I'm gonna you know sort out what's going on within me and you know you have the mediumship card for the second week and it's talking about you know you having natural abilities to connect to like departed loved ones so this you know the second week is it feels very emotional that you are looking back on things and looking back on trials tribulations family friends but you know there might be a deep connection that you have to this you know a deep connection to your roots a deep connection to you know looking back on your past but actually learning from it as well then you have you know the third week which you know things start to things can start to feel like they're moving a little not like entirely but you know just moving a little and the third week feels more that you know yeah I, I feel like the third week for you Aries is still you know you're going back on over like how you know your you know your achievements and looking back but still there are things you know I feel like the third week is more that you want to maybe alone you may want to be alone with close family and friends you may you know the, the energy or thing that you may want to you know you know celebrate more but also but not like big celebrations obviously some of you are in like lockdown but still, you just want to really connect more. So, you know, the third week, you could actually be discovering new things about, you know, family, friends, and even like your past. Some of these things may not be shocking to you, you know. Some of these things you actually knew, but even to discover more, it may be like, whoa, I didn't know this, I didn't know that. That's the reason why I have this drive, and that's the reason why I have this energy going on. So... You know, this is, you know, whatever you're going to be discovering, because I feel the third week you're going to be discovering things. But it is, it is helpful to how you are actually now, Aries, you know, and, you know, whatever we know about ourselves from, whether it's through a family, you know, a cousin, anyone that's from like, clo they're closely connected to, it actually shapes us. So you're going to feel, I feel like the third week you're going to, there's, a, there's this, understanding of why you are the way you are you know if you're if you're one of those eeries that are showing this you know strong you know not talkative but you know just headstrong person that does what they want to do you could discover why you're like that you know and whatever you've been through as well like the third week will show you why as well and you know you've got the ear chakra and this card is about like noticing messages. There's, there can be some like lots of messages. You can be um, getting letters or emails from people from your past or like even like your family. But also, you know, wherever you are, there's going to be like you can get some major downloads this week. And this will like open up other avenues for you. So, you know, this also is you know, this card saying also to do with like music you know, words, even you reading a book, you could be even be reading a book that was connected to like your childhood, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of energy that's connected to childhood going on as well, but you're not going to, you know, you will feel, like the third week, you will feel there's a sentimental, you know, you're, you're, the third week, sorry, <laughs> there is an energy of being sentimental, but not living within the past, it's just whatever you're going to be learning is helping shape your character the last week the fourth week we have you know it's coming you know it's coming towards the sun in leo which is going to be a time where you're going to be really coming out of yourself you know slow it, it may be slow for some 
you know, sort of like coming out of that shadow, coming out of, you know, resting phase. But still, you know, I feel that you needed this. I feel that you needed this time to, you know, relax and chill. You needed this time to, you know, gain sort of like momentum and think about things. So, you know, I, you know, I feel like, you know, the, the, the ending is for you to really, you know, sort of like come out of your shell and start, you know, there's, there's also, I do feel there's some things that you have wanted to work on, but you just didn't really feel that you needed to. You were just like biding and wait, waiting and biding your time. So we know when we come to like the ending of the month, especially when the sun goes into Leo, which is in your fifth house. This is great time for you now, Aries, to, you know, whatever whatever you've thought about or wanted to work on, this is a great time for you to start doing it, you know. And, you know, you have the page of wands. And, you know, they, this represents, like, um, projects or situations, but also it, it, it's messages. But I do feel the messages is more inside you. You are actually now ready to show, okay, this is what I'm going to be doing now. This is what I want. This is what I've been thinking of working on, or this is what I've worked on behind the scenes. And now I'm going to start doing it. So, you know, start feeling a bit more, you know, energ energized, because I do feel the month is your, your energy is not going to be as high as you want it. It's because you just needed to relax, you needed to rest. So, you know, you know, the page of wands is showing you that you can actually now come out of your shell. And it's a fire sign card, you know, you're a fire sign. So you can get this whoosh, whiff of energy. And also we've got Mars and Leo, which is in your fifth house. So, you know, you maybe connect, you you know, during the month of July, lots of connecting to like, you know, your friends and family, but still your energy was more to do with, you know, some type of creativity. So you could be doing some create, you know, your creative projects can actually start to come out now. And you know, any thoughts or feelings that you've always thought or that you've had inside that is connecting to, you know, past matters is actually helping your creativity. And you have the heart chakra and the heart chakra is, you know, especially the end of the month, you know, Leo is ruled by the heart. So you're connecting more to your heart now. There's things that you're doing from the heart. You know, any projects or messages, messages could even come from someone that you love. Or, you know, it could be someone from the past. But everything that's going to be happening is from the heart. And you're going to, I feel you're going to be welcome, welcoming it open-heartedly. And it can be very fast or it can be very, you know, shocking. But at the same time, you are, you know, the, I, I feel like this month is very important to you because it needed to happen. All the energies that happened it needed to come so you know just connecting to your heart continue to connect to your heart because you can be in your head a lot so you know the ending message is you know just connect to your heart more and you know all will be well and even with the heart chakra card you know it's saying that the answers that you seek is in your heart right now so what do you love what do you feel to do you know what do you you know you've You've done all the work, like emotional work, or the mental work, but now bring something out that is connecting to your heart, which is like the which is a page of wands. Okay. So Aries, you know, the month of July, yes, it's an emotional time, but still, I said, like I said before, you actually needed this. And you know, when we have this downtime, it's always good. You know, we're resting, recuperating, and then bam, at the end, here I am. So, Aries, I hope you liked your tarot message. Thank you very much for listening. You know, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And check out Empath Butterflies Tarot and also Natter for Days. Empath Butterflies does, you know, dailies on all the star signs with tarot and also Natter for Days interviews people who are navigating their way during the pandemic. So thank you very much, Aries, and I will speak to you soon. Have a lovely July. Take care. Bye.